Hey, it's great to see you. I mean, I can't see you, but hi. I'm literally having the most amazing day today. I've got my day job out the way. This just got delivered. And Kim from Natural Chaos premiered her brand new plasma pen treatment video and replied to my comment, which left me totally fanboying. You guys know that I love all of your comments. Like seriously, you are amazing. But getting a reply from Kim, the queen of anti-aging skincare treatment. Seriously, it was just the cherry on top of the cake today. Anyway, enough gushing. I'm pretty sure you guys know who Kim from Natural Chaos is. If you don't, which rock have you been hiding under? Links to her channel down below. Go and check her out. The main difference between us is that she is skincare goals and I'm kind of skincare woes. Anyway, check her out after this video. You will not be disappointed, I promise you. So today's video is something that I'm super excited to be doing. I love all of the skincare treatments that I do, but sometimes I have to take a break. And that means that maybe I need a little bit of help in between treatments. So browsing through Sharon Ann's anti-aging channel, I stumbled across these miraculous witchcraft-like instant wrinkle erasers. I know, now you're wondering which rock I've been under. Apparently these have been around forever. So after seeing this, I immediately got onto Amazon and started searching. Bit of an issue because most of the products that I want don't deliver to Portugal. Anyway, I had to make do with what I could find and I ended up buying this. This is the Dermectin TS 90 second instant wrinkle filler. Seriously, I've been spending years battling my wrinkles and this claims it can do it in 90 seconds. Now I get that it's temporary, but you know, all of those events, parties, everything like that that I went to with crevices and canyons across my face and this could have stopped it. So I've never tried one of these before and I'm super excited to actually give it a go and see whether it works. So on the box, this claims to quickly correct the appearance of skin aging and diminish the look of creases, fine lines, and deep facial wrinkles in just 90 seconds. And the results last for up to 12 hours. So I guess I'm gonna be wearing this for 12 hours and see whether these results actually last that long, if it actually gives me any in the first place. So let's have a look inside this box. That seems like an awfully big box for, for this. I absolutely <laughs> love the design of this, but did you really need to have a box this big with all of this plastic inside? A half size box would probably be better and less wasteful. Yeah, I don't like excessive product packaging. Which, by the way, Amazon, did this one package really need to come in a box that I could fit inside? I absolutely love this design. I guess that's going to make application really easy. So it says to apply directly into problem wrinkles on the face, smooth and dab until absorbed into the skin, avoid direct contact with the eyes. If contact occurs, wash the blah, 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 blah blah do not use on broken or irritated skin okay so i'm good to go so i'd seen in other videos this needs to be applied to perfectly clean skin oil free makeup free all of that stuff so let's give this a go and see if it works hello safety catch okay so you've got to twist it and nothing comes out whoa <laughs> okay So this one can be used all over the face. So it's not one just for under the eyes, it's a full face one. I can see that it's got foundation built into it, which is pretty cool, I guess. But as it only comes in this one shade, maybe it's not as inclusive of every skin tone as it could be. I'm gonna try and do it straight from the applicator without squirting it in my eye. Okay, whoa, that was a lot. big old line that I get here between my nose and my mouth. Actually, I'm gonna do the whole face. It says it can be used on the whole face. I can't really feel or see anything happening at the moment. Wow, okay, this really has got rid of my under eye line. Now, the first thing I'm gonna say on this that I really don't like is that my skin feels really weird. Like it feels like someone is pinching at it or, or bunching it all together. It's not comfortable, but I mean, who cares when you don't have lines? This is crazy. 
looking at it face on, I don't actually see too much of a difference because my skin's improved so much over the last couple of months. Probably should have used this at the start of my skincare journey. Better late than never, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to try the other side now and see if we're going to get an even finish. Ew, get it off. That is way too much, but I'll dab it out. Okay. Dab, not rub. Come on, TJ. Remember what you're doing. I don't think I need it on my nose. So I can feel that it's pulling the skin tight. So I'm going to try and see if I can get a lip flip going with this. I'm hoping if it tightens the skin, that it's going to lift the lip up a little bit more. This has seriously blown my mind. How did I not know that these things existed? It says it's gonna last for 12 hours, so I guess we're gonna test it and come back every couple of hours and see what it's doing. I guess we're gonna find out. If you've ever put a clay mask on or egg whites onto your face, you get that really weird sort of like tightening feeling. You can feel that. Not the most comfortable sensation, and I'm hoping I'm gonna get used to it throughout the day. It's done what it said it was gonna do, so I guess that's a point to you already. So I've had this on now for just a little bit over three hours. I've been to the supermarket and come back. It is so hot outside. I was worried that I was gonna be sweating excessively. Luckily, I didn't, so that's cool. This is holding up really well. For about the last two hours, my skin is getting so itchy. I didn't want to scratch my hands because apparently oil is going to make this wear off. Yeah, the itching is a little bit distracting. It's kind of like when you get an itch on that part of your back that you can't reach and you find yourself lifting up your shirt and scratching your back on like a wall or a door frame trying to itch it. But yeah, so far three hours in, we're not doing too bad. See you in three. Okay guys, so I put this on roughly seven hours ago. I can feel that the tightening effect is starting to loosen, but I mean, most of my wrinkles and that still look super softened and a lot of them are still invisible. Again, the itching is driving me crazy. So the longer I'm leaving this on, the more my skin is starting to itch. Could I use this every day? Nee, I don't think so. Would it be cool for special occasions? I guess. Now having the foundation built into it probably is a little bit of a bonus for some people, especially if it matches your skin tone. Yeah, I just feel like that the number of people that are actually going to be able to use this properly on a daily basis, it's going to be pretty small. Anyway, guys, so I'm going to be back in five hours. Obviously, it's going to be in a couple of seconds for you and we'll see how things are holding up. <clears throat> I've had this on now for around about 12 and a half hours. The effects have finally started wearing off properly. In fact, my skin's feeling pretty normal again. The itching is still there though. I must have removed half the layers of my skin today scratching. This has been driving me crazy. There's something in this that my skin really just doesn't like. Like, I love the effect that it gave me, but within minutes of putting this on, I started getting itching. And I've powered through it for most of the day. Really now, the only itching that I have is the itching to go and wash my face and get this off. I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to get contact dermatitis from this. It's itching. Oh my God. <laughs> I literally cannot do this anymore. I need to go and wash my face and I will be back. So after washing my face, my skin looked super pink and really, really, really dry. Now I suffer with combination oily skin. So drying it out isn't going to cause me too many problems. But I think if you suffer with eczema or excessively dry skin or have flare ups of dermatitis or contact dermatitis, this kind of makes me wonder how great it's going to be for guys like you. I've applied a little bit of hyaluronic acid to my skin to boost some moisture in there because I really don't want to end up looking all dry and flaky because obviously having dry skin enhances the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and kind of just looks lackluster. The biggest downside to this for me is the itching. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use this again because for me, one, I don't really think that I need it now and two, the itching, I just, I wouldn't be able to deal with it. So yeah, it seems like a great product. It lives up to its promise. Promises. Is it for me? No. Is it for you? Who knows? That is it for this review video. I hope you found it useful. Oh my god, I'm still itching. If you did find it useful, please make sure you give this video a like. If you've got any questions or comments or anything at all about this product or anti-aging skincare in general, feel free to drop it down in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can stay up to date every time I publish a new video. But yeah, I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Thanks for dropping by and I will see you next time. So until then, see ya.